Okay guys, so we talked a little bit about head movement and using head movement to try to find comfort once the person gets the arm around the neck. But a lot of times what happens is the position of my head is very, very important for my escape, okay? And a lot of times the guy behind me who's attacking knows that. And so what they try to do is once they get the arm around the neck, they put the head on the other side to be able to block. And so what I mean by that is from here, okay so i'm not using my arms to defend he gets his arm around my neck right and he's got everything lined up and do you see what he does he's actually putting his head right next to my ear right next to my head to basically block my head now it feels very difficult for me to move my head my head is kind of jammed by his head and i can't even find that angle okay so what's important to understand is this i'm in front of my opponent okay so what that means is my head is in front of him also yeah and because he doesn't have, thankfully, uh, like a, a giraffe <laughs> neck where he can bring his head all the way in front of me, okay, what happens is I can always move my head in front of his face. And so here's the other thing that we want to understand. Uh, one second. Okay. So when I go to move my head, okay, the idea is this. He's using his face to block me. That's not my fault that he wants to put his face in the way. I still have a job to do and my job is to get my head on the other side of his face and so what i do is when he grabs my neck to defend and and squeeze so first thing i do is i tuck my chin a little bit and i turn my head now what i'm going to do is i actually push the back of my head into his face so i'm using the back of my head okay so what i'm gonna have to do is i almost tuck my chin a little bit and i start to turn my head and i'm driving my head does that feel comfortable no I'm, I'm pushing my head, the back of my head, very diff, very dense skull into his face. And it's almost kind of like grinding his face. And at the end of the day, like, I don't want to be a jerk. And I'm, not, I'm certainly not trying to hurt my training partner, um, you know, or, or my opponent. But I have, I have to get my head to that side. And if his intention is to try to block me with his face, well, his face happens to be in the way of my escape. So my head's coming through. Now, it's up to him whether he wants to move his face out of the way. So don't feel bad for doing this, right? Because at the end of the day, they're, <laughs> they're trying to choke you. So we got to get our head to that side. So, so he's here holding tight, okay? And I'll talk a little bit about the legs too because right now I'm just using my, my head. I'm just using head movement. But ideally, we're going to be using the legs too. And so the idea is he gets his arm so... Anytime that person's on my back, I always want to have my legs loaded, okay? So my legs are always going to be close to my butt so that I can drive with my legs. He grabs his arm around my neck. He's got a tight grip, and he's even gluing everything. So what I do is I tuck my chin, and I just turn my head a little bit, okay? It, this still doesn't relieve enough pressure for me because he can still could just squeeze a little bit, John. Yeah, he can still put pressure on my neck, and you felt that, right? You have a good enough angle that you could probably finish me. Yeah, but what it does is it changes the angle that I can extend my neck, right? It's yeah. just, and it's just a tiny movement. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Go. Yeah, no, I mean, I Go. want to get my head out. So, so now my ear is on his chest, okay? And can you squeeze me now? No. Okay. And the other thing, too, is normally from here is when we will also start to use our escape. You're starting to use the legs, okay? So this head movement is really, really important. What you can see is I'm always able to get my head in front of his face, but I don't stretch back from here and I don't try to drive into his head, right? His head's blocking me right now. I have to do a little bit of a, tinge, uh, a chin tuck for a second, right? A little chin tuck and a little turn of my head and then my head starts working, right? So it's not that I'm driving into this. If I just try to drive from here, I'm gonna be blocked. You can feel how it's like I'm hitting yeah. a wall, right? And this is very comfortable for you because I'm driving into the yeah. side of your head. I want to put the back of my head into his face, okay? And sorry, he, vol he, volunteer he volunteered for this, right? So you can see I was even trying to help him out a little bit by, <laughs> by uh, holding his head in the way a little bit and you know tightening the grip up. but. It's something that you will have to practice a little bit to develop the feel of, of how to apply it. But um, it's a very, very important 
uh, movement that you need to develop, especially for back defense, because um, especially at the higher levels, this becomes more common where someone will get the arm around neck. And I see a lot of guys even get choked out with one arm, with one arm and head defense, one arm and they put the head there and they, they're strong enough to squeeze with one arm and they know how to close up the space with the arm to still choke people out, okay? So it's important to understand how to bring the head in front of the face and to clear. And you know, one of the primary things about escaping the back and, and defense is whatever side he's choking me, the escape is always, um, one of the rules is the escape is always towards the fingers, where the fingers are pointing, okay? So if he's attacking me with this arm, my escape is to this side. If he's attacking me with his left arm, my escape is to my right, right? So we're always going away from the choking arm, 